Hello friends, in today's class, we will be studying the most important topic in engineering physics that is liquid crystal display or how does an LCD works. So stay tuned. <music> Well, a liquid crystal display is a display which we have all come across, right from televisions to mobile phones to almost everything which has display characteristics had been built based on LCD previously. Of course, now the technology has updated to LED, but LCD still remains an important aspect and parameter for display. So let's see is working. Now, well, if you zoom onto your computer screen, which is an LCD display, you will come across various pixels. Now, these are nothing but as arrays of R, G and B. This is what the name gets from. This R stands for red. This G stands for green. And this B stands for blue. Well, these are the primary colors. Now, don't get confused with your school's definition of primary colors. These are the primary colors for electronics. Now, electronics has primary colors as red, green and blue. Well, with this red, green and blue, you can make all the colors possible. It is nothing but as wearing some shades of red, some shades of green and some shades of blue. Now, of course, one pixel has no role to play. It is a series of pixels or the series of entire pixels which makes up an image. Now, you might have come across different display systems wherein a display system of one screen is far better than the display system of the second screen. Well, this is nothing but as the intensity of the pixels per unit area. If I have more pixels per unit area, the image quality will of course be better. If the pixels per unit area is less, then the image quality will be minimized. So let's take one pixel out of it and study. This is a single pixel which has red, green and blue. Let's see how does it work. Now, this is an entire set of layers which is driving behind an LCD display. This is called as an illuminator. Now, its role is to just give white light. This is nothing but as horizontal polarizer. Well, I hope you know polarizer. Polarizer is nothing but as a device which allows light to pass through it in a given orientation. We have this as vertical polarizer. And this is the RGB pixel. Out of this, the most important element is this. This is nothing but as liquid crystal. This is the most important part or I would say the heart of a liquid crystal display or an LCD system. Now, you might have come across various instances or you might have come across various screens which have some issues with the spot. There are some issues wherein the technician says the liquid is over, wherein some technician says the liquid gets spilled off. So this is the layer which he is referring to, the heart of liquid crystal display systems. So let's see its functioning. The illuminator illuminates white light and the first thing that it come across is the horizontal polarizer. As you can see, the horizontal polarizer has allowed only the horizontal light through pass, whereas it has blocked vertical light. This is the vertical light which is blocked by the 
polarizer and only allowing the horizontal light to travel through it. Now, what would happen if the light would strike to the RGB? Well, if the light would strike to the RGB, of course, red, green and blue all are going to glow or all are going to illuminate. Now, fact point, white light is nothing but as a combination of all the lights. So, if I have R, G and B, all these three colors illuminated with the same intensity, I'm going to get a white color or the same color as that of the illuminator, which is very important. Now, what would happen if I place a vertical polarizer in between? Well, if I place a vertical polarizer in between, this is how my screen is going to appear like. Horizontal polarizer has allowed the horizontal light to pass, but my vertical polarizer will now not allow the light to pass, thereby giving no colors to R, G and B. Here the value of R is 0, G is 0 and B is 0 as well. An absence of all these three colors will lead to the formation of a black light or the blackout of the screen. So now we know that here we can have full white color display and here we have a full black color display. So now we get to know that we can have either a high or a low in terms of electricity. A high means a color is white whereas a low means color is black or it is no color. But this is not what we want of course from the LCD or from the display system and therefore the intermediate layer which is the liquid crystal layer plays an important role. Now this layer is having liquid crystal filled in them. Now, if you zoom into this, the structure would look like this. This layer has two terminals. The longer leg is called as the positive and shorter leg is called as the negative terminal. Now, depending on the amount of voltage or current particularly, which you give to this pixel, the liquid crystal in this changes its orientation and thus changes the amount of light that can pass through it. Well, we'll see this in the next slide. How does this happen? Let's take a zoom view of the pixel and get into detail. Here you can see the orientation of the molecules is quite random, which is of course one of the particular aspect of a liquid crystal that we studied earlier. Here the molecules are arranged in a random fashion. Now, when the light comes into the pixel, the orientation of the molecules get changed. Well, here you can see the light is horizontally polarized. Here you can see the light has come in with a horizontal polarization. Now, what would happen? This light would in turn affect the molecules and will try to change the orientation. As you can see, they have changed the orientation or rather they have produced a twist in the compound. Well, if the produced a twist in the compound, there would be some light which would be vertically polarized and would traverse off from the system. So this would become vertically polarized. So what would happen? Is this light is same as this light? Is color same? Well, no. This is the most important Viva question. The color of this is still white and the color of this is still white. There is no color change. Only there is change in the intensity and the angle. Here the light is horizontally polarized. Here the light is vertically polarized. Remember the color parameter is not given by the amount of light. The color parameter is given by the amount of current that you pass through the pixel. 
so here the light is horizontally polarized here the light is vertically polarized so basically what did the crystal do the crystal converted a horizontally polarized light into a vertically polarized light now as you can see here the illuminator has passed both a horizontally polarized light and vertically polarized light the first polarizer which is a horizontal polarizer has blocked the vertically polarized light and allowed only the horizontally polarized light to pass through well this crystal has now changed the orientation of the horizontally polarized light to vertically polarized light and the second polarizer has allowed that vertically polarized light to strike to the r g and b giving it a particular color and this is how your lcd works now the maximum value of red green and blue can be given as 255 in all the cases you might have heard this and have also observed the range of colors which varies from 0 to 255 do remember this is for a 8 bit processor now what does these technical jagrons means? 2 raised to 8 is nothing but as 256. So if I have 8 bits, I can produce a variation of 256. A variation of 256 in the red, variation of 256 in the green, and variation of 256 in the blue. So if I take some permutation and combination, total colors would be 256 shades of red times 256 shades of blue times 256 shades of green so this would be around 1 million colors so this is what the color system of lcd is all about now if you turn off here you can see if i'm turning off the current or there is no current in the liquid crystal then there would be red green and blue why because the liquid crystal will not block any light it will allow all the light to pass through it if all the light is passing through it the red would be illuminated by the maximum intensity green would be illuminated by the maximum intensity and blue would also be illuminated by the maximum intensity whereas if you pass current through all of them in an equal manner and the maximum current this would be the scenario it would block the r g and b why because all the lights would then be horizontally polarized and if the light would be horizontally polarized the upcoming filter that is a vertical polarizer will block all the horizontal lights and allow no light to pass through it so basically here you can say depending on the current that you provide to this and this leg for red this and this for blue and this and this for green you can have various colors in an LCD display system. So this is the most important diagram that you need to understand. With red, you can have variations of green and blue in the range of 0 to 255 and thus you can produce around 1 million colors. If this system is followed through the entire pixels, this is how my screen is going to appear like. So now the system does a scanning now what does the scanning means well the scanning means it would first scan this line it will then come back down and scan this line again this line and this line and this scanning continues throughout so this is called as progressive scanning something which was used in the previous televisions so basically if you just try to hold your phone camera in front of an LCD TV, what you would see? You would see there would be certain lines. These are called as scanning lines because the frequency of the scanning and the frequency of your phone camera varies. And hence your phone camera is easily be able to capture the scanning. And therefore you can see somewhere there would be black spaces and somewhere there would be colors. So this scanning is called as progressive scanning now just another question that could be asked as a viva question why does not this happen in LED well in LED all the pixels are controlled by using current so basically in LED you have an LED light which is 
capable of producing an R, G and B color simultaneously. So depending on the current that you provide it, it produces R, G and B. So you can create n number of pixels through it and therefore the quality display of LED is much better than that of LCD. Now the only driving force behind LCD is the liquid crystal. If this liquid crystal leaks out then of course the entire display system goes off. It would either be white or it would be either black. Now that's all for today. Thank you so much.